Okay, here's SketchUp. We're going to open up the door maker for the cabinet doors and we're going to pick the default which is a single arch door in cherry. We'll do the one click and accept all these defaults. Now you can change these defaults in the uh, defaults.txt file if you want something different and it will support metric and or uh, imperial. In both cases you enter the information into the defaults.txt file as decimal inches or decimal millimeters. Okay here we go pick a door. Now what happens is now is when we click the door is going to appear with its bottom left hand corner um, three millimeters over from this point and you'll see why I do this in a, in a second here because what we want to have on doors is we want to have a little bit of a gap between the doors so that is what this gap measurement is this three millimeter gap you can change it to whatever you want now let's move these doors over and straighten them out and let's change the edge style and turn off the profiles just to get a little more detail now here's another thing to note about these doors uh, the size stays so you can keep on adding door after door after door if you have a series of cabinets and it'll just place them one at a time you can also instead of clicking there you can go into here and type so let's say you want a, uh, a width of uh, 400 millimeters and a height of a thousand and you want to change the gap after this door to 20. Here you go. There's your door. Okay, now let's uh, get rid of the door. We support the control Z or undo and if you take a look at the uh, door calculator we've now taken the width the height and the door gap and make use of it. So now when we go click there's a 20 millimeter gap and you have a different door height. Okay you can also create doors by using the, the drag method. So this, this has some advantages. Um, it's not necessarily uh, any faster. Uh, the difference here is the door will appear exactly where you click so there's no gap in this case so if you hold it and you just pull it by there's your door and it's currently it's only set up for widths uh, future version we will probably look at heights and angles as well a future version we're also going to look at door handles uh, but anyway here's your doors now the customer says, hey, Cherry's nice, but I want something different. Well, there's an easy way of handling this. You can bring up your uh, materials editor, go into the in model, and you'll see the two woods, uh, uh, two materials. One is horizontal and one is vertical. Okay, so if you double click on one of these, uh, it will tell you the name of the file. So we can just click on this button here and browse. Uh, it knows where I keep my images, so it will remember and come back here all the time. So this is the horizontal one, and we're going to change it to uh, Baltic. There we go. We're going to go back to select, do the same for the second one, come into here, and in this case, there you go. You've now changed all your doors from one style to the next. But then you say, well, you know what, just hold on here now. I don't want to do that for all the doors. I want to change this one door. Okay, so what you need to do is you have to double click on a door. And this will bring it into focus. Now what you can do is make changes to one of the five parts and drop on your materials and it will take that material. So again, let's go back. Uh, we're going to uh, change from here. 
we're going to pick uh, oh just a wood something here and pick this uh, cork here and we're going to drop it in the middle now that middle part is cork and if we take a look it hasn't affected any of the other doors so now um, if we go ahead and make changes to all the doors, it will change everything but the cork. So the cork won't change. So if we take this and change from Baltic horizontal, and we'll go something a little bit darker. Um, here's the silver or oak is really v wicked. And we're going to go and do the same for the horizontal or the, the vertical, I'm sorry. So we'll go back to the silver oak and uh, we're going to go to the uh, vertical. And as you can see, all the doors change their colors except for the cork that we had set inside. So this is something what you can do with uh, SketchUp to uh, increase productivity. Um, beyond that, have a good day. Thank you.